Hi guys and welcome to this short tutorial on troubleshooting inter-VLAN routing. So as you can see on the screen here guys, I've got a exercise in front of us and the idea here is to figure out what's going wrong. So the, the, essentially what we want to do is we want to be able to communicate between PC1 and PC3. Okay, and obviously these are on different VLANs. So I can see PC1 is on VLAN 10, v, uh, PC3 is on VLAN 30. So it gives us, in the, in the question, it gives us some tips to look at and to locate network problems. So it gives us ideas on where to start. So some troubleshooting steps on R1, um, which is our router, and also some troubleshooting steps on S1, our switch. So let's dive right in and look at them. Before we actually look at um, changing anything, what we need to do is we need to ensure we understand what it should look like. So we can see R1 has got a setup with what's called router on a stick. It's got this inter-VLAN routing, it's got sub-interfaces. It's got a sub-interface 10 and a sub-interface 30. These will indicate the, the VLANs, of course. Also, we can see the information for PC1 and PC3. So we may need to check all of this information to see if it's configured correctly. So let's dive on in and let's take a look using our show commands to help us. So let's um, bring up our router first and foremost. Um, let's just see if it's there. It's in the background as I can see there. Let's bring that to top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the CLI. So first thing that we can check guys, and it gives us some help here. You can see it says, you know, use your, for example, use the show IP interface brief. So again, what I'll do is we'll, we'll use that and let's take a quick look at how things stand at the moment. So at the moment, it looks pretty good. Um, I can see, for example, they've indeed, they've configured the, the interface, the sub-interface of 10, and they've put a correct IP address on it by the looks of things. And they've also created the sub-interface um, 30, and they've put a correct um, IP on it. Now, one thing that I, what is standing out to me is I can see that this interface is up, up, which is which is positive. But I can see that this interface, look at this, it's manually or shut down. So that's one problem that we've identified. Okay, let's have a look at a show run, something that's not here, but I always like to look at the current running configuration. So I'm going to just jump down using my spacebar jump down, and what I'm going to have a look at is I'm going to look at this sub-interfaces. So again, if I just have a look at what it should be compared to what we have, so in this case we can see, have a look, gigabit 0 slash 1, okay, and what we can see here, guys, is have a look. I can see at the moment, so there's no IP address, that's all fine because this is the, if you like, the physical interface, but now is what I'm interested in, the, the, the sub-interface for dot 10. So here I can see the encapsulation, however, IEEE, instead of using VLAN 10, which is mapping to our VLAN 10 on this port, okay, I can see it's mapping to VLAN 30, which is incorrect. Okay, so again, based on this table on these notes, we can see that it should have a VLAN 10 should be matching VLAN 10 here, which would also correspond with our default gateway address of 172.17.10.1. And then down here also, guys, I can see, have a look at this. I can see that this is our VLAN or our sub-interface 30, but I can see again, we've it's like when the person configured these, they mixed up the interfaces. So this indeed should say 30 instead of 10. So what, so that we've identified a couple of problems there already. Um, just to, if I just go down and see if there's any other issues, that looks like this, uh, you know, the, the only issues. I can see, of course, there you can see that, that it's manually shut down. So that's going to be something I'll need to fix. So there's two problems. Let's also identify to see if the PCs are correct, guys. So I'm going to go over to the PCs and I'm just going to check to see what the status of their IP addressing is like. Always a good idea because it's easy to misconfigure a PC with a wrong static IP address. So if we just look at PC1, let's double check so I can see the IP address, 10.10 .10 looks good. Subnet mass looks good. Default gateway looks fine, it matches up, and we don't, we're not concerned with our DNS server at this moment in time. So that looks good. Um, let's do the same over on um, PC3. I go to desktop, I'm gonna go to IP configuration, and I'm going to check off. So again, I can see 30.10 looks good. Subnet mass looks good. We're using slash 24. Now, default gateway, guys. Look at the IP address. Look at the subnet mass. Look at the default gateway. Anyone spot a problem? 
This is where you're all shouting out to the screen and going, Greg, of course we see the problem. This guy should in fact have a different IP address. So again, the default gateway at the moment is off this person's network. So that's in fact incorrect also. So that's something we'll need to change in just a moment. But before we do, let's identify if there's any other problems. One last thing that I'm gonna check, because we've checked on the router, let's have a look at the switch, because indeed, if this switch is basically going to do inter-VLAN communication, what we need to do is we need to ensure that the VLANs are created and these ports are in the appropriate VLAN. And also this port should be in a trunking state. So let's go up and have a look guys at the switch. So let's go into CLI and let's have a look to see what the current state is. So let's, let's um, just draft over this. I'm just gonna move this out of the way so we get a bit more real estate here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just have a look at enable. I'm gonna say show VLAN just to ensure. So I can see here, this looks good. I can see VLAN 10, the staff, and I can see Fast Ethernet 11, looks good. And I can see Fast Ethernet 6, and I can see is on VLAN 30. So I can indeed see that this port is correct. So that looks, that looks good, guys. One thing I need to also check is gigabit zero slash one. So this shouldn't be in the list. Is it in the list? It actually is, guys. It's acting only in VLAN one at this moment in time. So what I'm gonna to need to do is, I'm gonna to need to change this, guys. So again, I'm gonna to need to move this. This shouldn't be an access port. This should be indeed a trunk port. So guys, now that we've identified all of those issues, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in part two and you're gonna help me solve these problems together, okay? So join me in part two and let's fix this. Let's go from at the moment, we're at 0%. Let's see, can we get to 100%? Okay, guys, see you shortly.